Okay. So I, my name is Shelly Smith and I am a director who just promoted. Um, I currently live in Maryland, but I'm from Oklahoma city. So I'm active duty military, uh, building the military. It will be 20 years in January. Praise the Lord. Um, I'm waiting on retirement y'all. I'm ready to go. Um, so I've been with Cincy for about six years now. I signed up when I was overseas in Japan. Um, and I've just been having fun with it. Hey, Misha. I've just been having fun with it ever since. I joined to be a kidnapper, didn't really plan. I was actually doing another direct sales business and I told my sponsor like, I just want the kit. I'm not about to do anything with this business. So don't try to get me to work it. Um, and then <laughs> here we are. So you tell God your plan and you see what happens. All right, so let me switch over to, and let me, I'm gonna sh share my screen and then I'm gonna pull up because I got some slides for y'all. So give me one second. So for y'all that are here, can y'all see my screen? Please let me know if you can see it. Okay, it looks like it's coming up. <clears throat> soon as it pops up big, we're going to get into it. Okay. So we are here. All right. So, hey, Shy. Um, okay. So y'all have heard people say um, over and over that the, the fortune is in the follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up. So the fortune can mean so many different things. Um, and what I want to get y'all focused on is money. So I changed it to say the funds are in the follow-up and you will see why um, I have the receipt. So I'm going to show you the funds really are in the follow-up. This is where, this is where you're going to really get your money. Um, and I'm going to show you as we go through. So go back. All right. Um, so quick fast facts. I won't spend too much time on this, but I got this information from the workstation. But if you are curious as to why is follow-up even important, like this tells you right here, because most people aren't doing it. Um, 70% of customers only purchase once a year. That's a whole lot of people, y'all, that are not purchasing. I mean, to only part, can you imagine? I can't, I go through multiple bars per week. Um, so I can't, I can't imagine only purchasing once a year, but 70% of customers only purchase once a year. 48% of consultants never follow up, which just blew me away. Almost half consultants never follow up. And 80% of sales happen between the fifth and the 12th contact. So let me ask you as we get started. Hey, Nikki, let me ask you, how many times have you followed up recently? How many times have you reached out to somebody? Five, six, seven, eight times, and they still didn't purchase from you. If you're like me, you probably gave up after the second, maybe the third time, right? 80% of sales happen between the fifth and the 12th contact. There's just so much opportunity there. So this right here just case in point uh why follow-up is important because it's just it's not happening um another why for those who like to see receipts um so it just bottom line it could increase your income and so this is a screenshot of where i was at um before or when i'll say when i first got started really paying attention to um follow-up so you see my numbers in april i was at about 758 prv 300 bucks all right, but that's when I figured out, okay, I need to really do something because I'm military. For the last 20 years, I've moved every three years. I'm tired of starting over. I need to figure out a way to keep all of these customers that I'm accumulating from base to base. I need to figure out how I can keep the same ones while I'm still building my client base where I'm at. And so in April, I really got focused, started writing down my customers. I made out a plan for how I was going to follow up. And then I saw the fruits of that labor in May. Um, and I should also note, I promoted to superstar consultant um, by doing this in May. And both times, April and May, I only had five active frontline. So I, I mean, the proof, hey, Kim, the, the, the proof is in the PRV right there. Um, it, it definitely does increase your income. Um, and then it's just good customer service. So this is where I need to hear from you guys. Um, Tell me if you go to McDonald's, what kind of customer service do you uh, do you expect to get? 
I know what I expect, but I'm just curious if I'm on, if anybody else is on the page, same page as me. When you go to McDonald's, say you go through the drive through and you get your like even at the speaker, what kind of customer service are you expecting? And I'm waiting on y'all to I'm reading the the comments. I'll say I don't know if y'all are like me, but I know as soon as I pull up to the window and I get my bag. And I'm, I, ain't, I haven't shopped in McDonald's in a long time, y'all. But I know when I was, as soon before I could even leave the window, I'm checking my order. I'm checking to make sure my fries hot, right? Because there's just that level of trust that you don't have with certain establishments. But then attitude, yep, can I help you? Can I take your order, right? <laughs> That's the way it is. But now what about Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A, there have been so many YouTube videos, memes, Facebook videos. They are legendary because of their positive attitude, because of their customer service. Like they really have built their brand on treating their customer right. It's all about the customer experience. And so literally, I think I've probably gotten an incorrect order one time at Chick-fil-A. And I wasn't even mad about it because they just, they do so well every other time. I was like, you know what? God is telling me I didn't need that chicken sandwich anyway, right? It's just, that's when you come to expect a level of service from somebody, you have custom, you have loyalty. Um, and then it, you just, the whole experience is different, right? And so this is why follow-up is important because you have the opportunity to really, really shape the customer experience for your customers. And it's really the difference between customers and clients. I like to call mine clients. Um, but you really can shape um, the experience that they have and you make the difference on whether or not they come back. So, okay. So I gave y'all like the, the theory behind it. So now let's move into the mechanics. So first of all, who are you gonna follow up with? Everybody, <laughs> literally everybody. Anybody who has ever purchased from you or showed any kind of interest whatsoever, put them in your follow-up, put them in your follow-up funnel. We're going to touch base with everybody. Now, if you've been at this game for a long time and maybe that list is a little lengthy, okay, we're going to structure it. We're going to be strategic in this and we're going to start with the ones who ordered most recently. So then that's when you're going to start chunking it by 30 days. So we're in October. I'm going to start with everybody who's ordered for me in October. Check. Once I get all of them, now I'm going to go to September. Then I'm going to go to August and it's just start chunking it that way. You're going to go all the way back 12 months. Come back. Listen to me now. You're going to go back 12 months, especially if you haven't been consistently following up this whole time. I'm challenging you to go back 12 months. Just, just follow me. Just try it. And then if it doesn't work, then just send me a message and say, you didn't know what you was talking about, but just trust me on that. Try it out for 12 months. Okay. So I'm following up, but what am I saying? What am I talking about? Okay. The first thing and the easiest thing is any products that they've ordered. So did they place an order recently? Did you ask them, did it arrive? Okay. Did you ask them how they like their scents? And it can just, it doesn't have to be anything just super formal. Hey, Tiff, just checking to see if your order got there. Let me know which one is your favorite. How'd you like that hunt, that apple cherry strudel, right? Just ask them a quick question and see how they're liking it and make sure um, that they're still satisfied with their order. Number two, um, new product releases. Stenti is killing it right now because I swear there's a new product release like every other week. So you should be following up like, out, like, ridiculously because there's always something at least right now during the holiday season they are giving you so much to let people know about um so i gave it i gave you an nfl warmer example and this is one that i'm using a lot right now hey girl i know you are a huge cowboys fan i didn't want you to miss this warmer that's getting ready to come out it's probably going to sell out so let me know if you want me to pre-order for you customer service because i can tell you the times that i didn't say something um there was a one of the warmers i think it was the book of spells warmer from the harvest collection i had somebody message me like the day after it sold out like sis why you didn't tell me about this warmer and i was like i didn't even know really know you were into halloween like that my bad so now I just tell everybody about about everything um so that gives you a perfect excuse to follow up um, if you send happy mail, which I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of happy mail. My, my team will tell you I'm preaching happy mail all day, every day. If you send them happy mails, it gives you a great excuse. Hey, just checking to see if you got the happy mail I sent. What'd you think of the samples? Did you try out that cider mill bundle? It is my favorite right now. Um, hey, Regina. So 
happy mail gives you a great excuse. And then after you go through all of those things, just see how life is, right? Like, there's just so much going on in the world right now. Everybody needs to be checked up on. Everybody just wants to hear, are you okay? How are you? How are things going? How are your kids like in virtual school? And if they have kids, are you teleworking? Just reach out and just talk. And nine times out of 10, if you've um, talked about sensing on your page or if they associate you with Scentsy, they'll bring it up and they'll say, girl, I've been meaning to message you. I needed some sense when you're placing an order let me get a three pack or anything. So just touch base. Um, you have plenty, plenty things to um, follow up on. All right. So the win, I'm going to take y'all. So I'm going to take you, I call them touch points. And these are literally all the times at a minimum that I touch my customers. So I'm going to walk you through all of my touch points. And if you see me looking down, it's because I'm checking the chats to make sure I'm not missing anything. All right. So again, I didn't told you the goal is to touch everybody every month, at least the people who have ordered in the past 12 months. I know you hear some people say three months, six months. I'm telling you, just try it out. Go back one year, um, especially if you haven't been doing this. And so first touch point is when they order. It's easy, right? Send via email messenger. Hey girl, thank you so much for your order. Let them know about shipping. All orders are shipping in about 10 days right now. Even if you know since he's getting better and it's probably on a, only gonna be maybe five to seven, tell them 10. That way they can be happy or they'll be excited that they're getting their order early when it doesn't take the full 10 days. So in the meantime, be on the lookout for something that I'm putting in the mail for you, right? You're not telling them what you're sending them, but you're kind of giving them that little bit of anticipation. And I found that this really works for anybody who's lead and you get those, um, the Sensi, the locator orders, right? They don't really know you. So if you tell them this little thing, like, hey, I'm gonna send you some, a little something extra. Um, once I started including that little sentence in my emails, I noticed I started getting a lot more messages back. Um, so that's just a little tip. Um, touch point number two, once their order ships. So once their order ships, then the little boomerang that you see right there is what I send them if they're on Facebook or IG. Hey girl, just wanna let you know your order ship, so get ready to stalk your mailbox. And usually they'll respond back and they'll be laughing just because it's this crazy dancing gift that I send um, or boomerang when I send it through Messenger. So those are the first two touch points. Third touch point, once they, um, well, so this is after they already ordered. This is a picture of the thank you mail that I'm actually sending. And so dependent on what I have or how much they've spent determines if I'm sending a box or a bag. Typically, if it's over 50, 50 bucks, sometimes maybe 75, depending on how many orders I've had. Um, if it's a large volume, I'm definitely sending a box. And if it's a box, it's probably a every sample that I have. Um, everything that I've made that month, I, I usually always have wax, I always have room spray, I always have um, the soak, um, I always have one of the cleaning products, counter clean, because I'm a huge fan of counter clean, and then typically fresh, because I love the fresh. I'm giving them one of everything that I have. Like, you spend a hundred bucks for me, guess what, here you go, I'm trying to wow you, and especially if you're on the locator, I'm trying to keep you. So I'm sending them everything. Um, when I put it in these boxes, it typically costs me about four to four fifty. Um, so there, that's my higher end. Um, thank you. So about four dollars to four fifty. But keep in mind, I budget. This is this is probably the bulk of my budget, but I budget for this um, because it's such a big. Uh, I get such big results for it. So just keep that in mind. Um, less than fifty bucks, I, I'm gonna send them a bag. Um, the bags probably only cost about two dollars to ship, and I say bag, it's a bubble mailer. So I'll put it in a cute little cello bag or something, um, and then throw you know wax and maybe one or two other things. I always throw candy, some cute little grass in there, um, and then send it on. So that's if they've ordered during the current month. So say somebody hasn't ordered since September. Well, if they ordered in September, I've already sent them this box. So if they haven't ordered again this month, then my last month's orders will get a scent circle and a scent of the, the month brochure in a regular envelope. And that's the picture that you see there. Um, I can send all of that in a regular envelope. I weighted it. it's 0.95 ounces, meaning I can put a stamp on it. Um, and so that's what I do. So the only thing that I'm really paying a lot of money for is that um, if they order during the current month, everything after that is a stamp or less. Um, and so touch point five. So for this month, for the people who ordered in August, they don't get a scent circle. They're going to get another flat sample. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see it, but it's something, it looks like this. So it's a really small, like 
inch, maybe three by four um, little mailer. I got the little, um, these little rag type things from the Dollar Tree. I cut them, <laughs> cut them probably in fours or sixes. Um, and while it's in here, I'll spray some counter clean in it and put a label on it. And you can send this flat um, in an in a envelope just like you can the scent circles. Again, it's just a stamp. Um, and then for if for some reason um, we get to four months, and my goal is to not let anybody go four months without ordering. Like I'm really in touch, really trying to let you know what is good. Um, but if for some reason, um, you know, I have people from four to 12 months, and this is where you could start if you're just now getting your follow-up game um, in order, and I'm telling you to go back a year, those people that's four to 12 months, I send them a postcard, 35 cents. Um, and there's an example of the postcard that I send. And so I have postcards that I have that you can put the, the scratch and sniff sticker that we get every month. I put them right on the postcard. And then if I run out of those and I need, I can just send the postcard without the scratch and sniff sticker. I probably just take a cube of wax and rub it all around the, the postcard so they still smell good. Um, but that's what everybody gets if they haven't ordered for me in four months or more. So those are my six basic touch points. Typically after touch point three, um, once I send the box, I'm waiting about a week. Um, that's that happy mail follow-up that I showed you a couple of slides before. And then I'm gonna message them and say, hey girl, did you get the box that I sent you? Or hey, did you get the surprise I sent you? And then they're just over the moon because they weren't expecting to get this beautiful box with all of this different stuff in it. Um, so that's what I do. Okay, so that literally is my system. That's what I do every month without fail. That's my follow-up system. Um, I can't see how long. Somebody let me know if I'm going too long. I said I was going to try to keep it at 30 minutes. Um, so track it or it didn't happen, especially once you get through this. Um, two systems that I use, and yes, I do use both. I kind of go back and forth. My main one is Trello. I'm not sure how familiar familiar y'all are with Trello, but if you are more on the electronic side of things, you're probably like Trello. And if I don't run out of time, I'll show y'all what my board actually looks like and how I move things around. Um, but I like Trello because if um, I'm teleworking right now, but when I was working outside the home, if I'm at work or if I'm somewhere else and I needed to do something real quick, I could just pull up the app um, and maybe scroll through or make a notation if I needed to. Um, but another thing that I also do when I do have it right here is the, I use the Scentsy Planner. Um, so I'm still in the 2021. Um, and basically at the end of every month, I just added a piece of a blank piece of paper. And every time I get an order, I'll write their name down. I write their name down and then that it, it stays open on my desk in my home office and so that reminds me if i see their name i need to get happy mail out to them um and so once i get happy mail out to them i'll just put a little check mark by their name they're done um and so to use the two or three month example so for september if they haven't ordered i go back and i look down all the people that i wrote down in september if they haven't reordered then what i'm going to do is um you know, what I'll do, the people who have ordered, I cross their name out now. I cross their name out because I don't need to send them something else. I'm going to send them the box for ordering again in the current month. If they haven't ordered, what I do is put, once I get their envelope all ready to go, um, then I'll just highlight yellow, pink, no, no real color, but I'll highlight to let me know um, that I have sent them something that the next month um, in the mail. So I got 10 minutes. Y'all, that's my mama. She's going to keep me on time. <laughs> um, so that's what I do when I'm using the paper. One thing that I like about Trello um, over the planner system is that I just have more room to just j jot down notes. Um, as you can see, I have some things color coded. Um, I, I created a little checklist and I'll show y'all um, in Trello. So once somebody orders, I put, I add a little card in Trello is what it's called. I add a checklist to them. And so I have a checklist. Did you send thank you mail? Did you send an email? Did you follow up? Did you do this? So I can go through. Um, I, I kind of live by checklists. I think the military has ruined me. So let me see real quick. Since I got 10 minutes, I'm going to take like two minutes to show y'all on Trello. Now, if you really want to know how to like go deep with Trello, go to YouTube. Um, my sponsor, Kimberly Polita, did a really good, really thorough video on how to set up 
um, Trello, and she even has a board that you can copy over that kind of has the shell um, laid out for you. So here we are. Um, so this is called a board. This is my customer follow-up board. Um, where you say, see it says August, that's called a list. So I have an August list, I have a September list, I have an October list. And so what happens is say, you know, I have Lindsay here, say Lindsay ordered in September. If for some reason she orders again in October, I can just drag her whole card over here to October. This is why I love how easy it is. I can just drag her whole card over here. Um, say I get a new order, I'm gonna click on add another card and Let's say Trey Song's order for me. Just, I was listening to it earlier, don't judge me. Right, Trey Song. So I'm gonna write his name there and then I'm gonna open up a blank card. Typically what I would do is put their email address, their mailing address all here, um, save it. That way when I need to send them happy mail, it's easily accessible. I don't have to go back into the workstation to find it, it's right here. Then over here, I'm gonna add a checklist and you can see here, um, I've already created what's called a new order checklist. And then all I gotta do is click on it. And so here we go. Send thank you mail, boom. Send a thank you box, done it. Shipped email, you know, and then down here, I can just put in little notes. Really loves honey pear cider. Really loves pink cotton, stuff like that. So that, I mean, in a nutshell, that's Trello. Um, I really try to focus on getting people within the past three months. And then you'll see over here, I have a customer archive for people who get outside of that 12 month window. Um, Erica, just go to Trello.com, it's free. Um, I mean, with as with all, they have a paid version, but you can do, I'm pretty sure you can do all of this stuff in the free version. So just go to Trello.com um, and they also have an app. So I have it on my computer, but I also have the app um, on my phone. Um, so that that's Trello. I really love being able to just move the cards around. Um, it's just, I don't know, especially when I want to write a whole bunch of notes and I don't necessarily like writing a whole bunch of stuff. So bottom line, y'all was so happy when I figured out how to get my favorite, my, my, my home girl, my favorite gift in here. Are you going to be part of the 48%? Are you going to be a statistic? One of the 48% that never follows up? Or will you follow up so we can get these funds? Like I told you to go back 12 months Try this for the next 90 days, mark where your PRV is now, get a good follow-up system and then let me know. Like, I really wanna know if this helps you. It's been a game changer for me and I'm trying to get my whole team to be on the same thing as well. Um, how do you spell what, Carol? Trello, I think you talked about Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O.com. So that is it. I'm gonna stop screen sharing. I think I pretty much got all the questions as they were coming in. I got five <laughs> minutes. Talk about timing. Let me know if y'all have questions. I do 90%, um, 98% probably now of my shopping on Amazon, but before COVID, I, I stayed in a Dollar Tree finding stuff. Um, to send people. So don't think that you have to, um, you're welcome, Geraldine. I hope it helps you. Don't think that you have to break the bank um, in order to follow up. Start small, start with the postcards, 35 cents. And the great thing about the postcards, I mean, you can create them in Canva. If you're familiar with Canva, pick monkey, listen, go to Word. If you're not good in any of those, you know, graphics programs, go to Word, type out something and print them up forward to a sheet um printed out on avery and the great thing about postcards is unlike this warmer and scent of the month brochures you can just print what you need so if you only need 10 this month you're not stuck with 40 extra brochures you can just print 10 postcards and be done with it um so hopefully that was helpful um i'll stick around for a little bit and be in the comments in case anybody comes in later and or because of this delay i just didn't see your question and i'll be answering questions below but i really hope this helped you it's been a game changer for me and so Hopefully it will be for you too. All right, y'all have a great night. Love y'all, bye.